A suspect is in custody tonight after a five hour standoff in Fond du Lac. The situation began when firefighters received a call around 9 a.m. of a house fire on Hickory Street. The house was empty at the time. Firefighters aren't sure what caused the fire, but they do consider it suspicious. There was fire coming out of all the windows. There was uh, impossible to enter at the time. So, uh, like we said, we did a defensive, uh, defensive attack on the fire. The home was destroyed by the blaze. No one was injured. Now, after the fire, police made contact with a person of interest on the 800 block of South Main Street. Investigators say that person then opened fire on officers and barricaded himself inside. Neighbors and businesses were concerned for their safety. NBC 26's Alex Hagan was on the scene today and joins us live in the newsroom with more. Well, Stacy, the standoff ended this afternoon, but police kept the neighborhood locked down until about 8.30 tonight as there were threats of explosive devices made by the suspect, and that left many people in the area on edge. A neighborhood shut down. I hope it doesn't ever happen again. For hours. And her shots fired. Multiple agencies involved in a standoff with a man on Main Street who fired at police. Everything within a three block radius shut down. Judy Sommerfeld lives in the trailer court nearby, stuck inside all day. We just waited and stayed in the house and stayed locked in. Neighbors watch as police try to resolve the situation. Running around with big guns, snipers up on the roofs. I mean, hiding behind cars. Just after 2 p.m., the suspect in custody with no one hurt. We don't want to have these incidents happen at all, but if they are going to occur, this is exactly how you want it to, to wrap up. During the standoff, the lockdown left the area quiet. It was like a ghost town. Yeah, I've never seen it like this. For Pam Beekmary of Mancino's Pizza and Katie Garcia, owner of Catherine's Hair and Nail Salon, That's stuck crazy. inside with no business. We really didn't have a lot of walk-ins today because of everything that was going on. The street was blocked. Off. Waiting for it all to end. Now, at this point, the suspect's name is not being released. Fond du Lac Police was assisted by the Brown and Atagami County bomb squads. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Alex Hagan, NBC 26.